We're right off of Colfax. Neighbors nowadays sometimes seem to have a habit. Certainly cars that get broken into or packages that get stolen. A habit of not always acting neighborly. People are always on, on the lookout for, for those kinds of safety concerns. Kelly Brenner sees herself as another pair of eyes. It's a neighborhood that is, I think, very friendly and community oriented, but certainly there are more new residents coming in and uh, that changes dynamics a little bit. So when day after day she awoke to this, she did what neighbors do. She posted on next door. This car didn't move <laughs> because it didn't run. So it was there all the time. His windshield was broken and he didn't have a, wind, uh, a rear windshield. Strange thing is. I expected the worst to happen every day. George Gutierrez and his mom sure are glad she did. Your body is so cold by the time the morning comes that you can't even move. No work, no money, and no room in a 2000 Mercury Mountaineer left them with few options. We tried going to a shelter at the Samaritan house, but they were full. You just let the people go in with the kids and stuff. We're adults, we can handle it. It was Christmas Eve of all days when Kelly took a chance. And I saw him out there with his hood up, obviously trying to fix the car, get it started, get it running. So it was clear that he was in a position where he needed some assistance. And that's when she posted this to next door. All I asked was, let's not call the cops on our neighbors. And it was the community organically that started posting and saying, you know, if his car doesn't run, my boyfriend's a mechanic. We can come by tomorrow. You know, if he needs a starter, I'll bet I can install that for him. It all led to a fixed truck, a warm dinner. He's like, are you guys moving in? <laughs> and a new place to call home. And we use that stove to cook. Opened their hearts and opened up their house, you know, to us with, with no no questions asked. What I'm hoping is provide a bridge to to a, an easier, better life for them. It, it gives us something to look forward to because when you're down and out, I mean, you don't even look to the future. What future do you have? <laughs> Neighbors, <laughs> acting neighbor. Tell. What a concept. I'm in my warm bed, he's 150 feet away, sleeping in his car. You can't do something about that problem that's right in your face. You know, I think if we start to look right around us and see what kind of good we could do, um, that would be really powerful. John Glasgow, Nine News. Well, George and Julie stayed in the house for a few days while they looked for more permanent housing. Kelly put together a GoFundMe page and neighbors helped raise $1,500. George and Julie say they put that money towards gas, cell phone service, and motels. If you have an idea for a story showing how someone or a group is rising up to the challenges of COVID-19, you can send us an email to mornings at 9news.com.